guys welcome back so I hope you've all been well and enjoyed your week I'm gonna show you a haul today and I'm going to talk about how I feel about the products because I actually used them tonight so um, it's gonna include YSL by Terry uh, and a few other things so I'm gonna start with YSL um, I'm gonna particularly start with this uh, palette that I got and it's the palette fetish um, it's the uh, five color couture eyeshadow palette and I think this is limited edition I'm not sure but um, it looks like this it's kind of in this leather encasing so a little bit different from the regular um, YSL palettes but I love their new eyeshadow formulas um, I just love these palettes and this particular color combination is absolutely screams um, my name so I absolutely love this palette and these are um, what the colors look like so I'm wearing these tonight on my eyes and they just made the most gorgeous um, eye I like the combination of the cool and warm so you've got um, this cool kind of green blue here and then you've got this beautiful warm shimmery color and then you've got the warm brown with like um, burgundy reflex in it it's just stunning and this is just a really pretty shimmery light beige as you can see so I've pretty much used all these colors except this black one here which is not shimmery it's um, quite matte but the application the smoothness the color combination of these eyeshadows are just beautiful and um, sparkle I'm not huge on shimmery shadows uh, but these ones are as you can see they are beautiful especially for nighttime under the lights um, they just sparkle really prettily so you can see that's what they look like oh my god you guys absolutely need this palette I couldn't be more excited I went ahead and used some other things on the inner corner um, which aren't new I've had them for a while I used the wire cell um, eyeliner which I love these are the waterproof ones which are a lo lot more silky smooth than the other ones um, this is a gold color sorry I've got stuff all over my hands I'll just wipe it off that's a really pretty gold so I've got that on the inner corner of the eye and then I've I've applied that really pretty sparkly beige color here just on top to brighten it if you guys can get this one do get it is an absolute stunning color combination that blue turns into um, almost this really deep peacock um, blue green so it's very pretty I also got a blush and these are the new release blushes from YSL and this is the shade number four I believe it's called um, baby doll so baby doll is I think it was the most brightest with a hint of blue in it they had another kind of bright pink but it was a bit more warmer than this one but this one really stood out to me um, it's so pretty I'm wearing it again today and be mindful that when you swatch these blushes on your finger and on your hands they are pigmented but when using a nice brush I used um, like for example the Chanel blush brush which is here somewhere um, I just put it on both sides of the brush and then I just dab it on my cheeks and it comes out beautifully so don't be disheartened if you're swatching with your finger and they're not coming up you know the test is not what you want it to be um, rich but it does apply very you can see it it's really pretty you've got the matte pink around the edge and then you've got this beautiful kind of very light highlighter sparkly shade and this is what they look like all mixed together so it's really pretty pink and I very much recommend this one okay so I bought an eyeliner because I'm a huge fan of YSL eyeliners uh, all of their liners except the non waterproof ones which are a little bit harder formula I don't like those but I do like um, these types the pot liner and then I love the baby doll eyeliner so um, the other one that I do have is um, this one here which is a really pretty golden bronze I decided to get a nice chocolate bronze and it is so beautiful it is a really unique it's actually a really 
it's a brown with the red undertone which is what I love because if you have blue eyes you all know that um, this kind of warm undertone with a little bit of like a red really really just um, makes blue eyes look gorgeous so I absolutely love these eyeliners they're so easy to use just beautiful so definitely want to get a few more of these ones as well okay so I'm going to move on to two samples that I got from YSL one of them she didn't name but I'll explain it to you um, and the other one is a powder and uh, it's their loose setting style powder in the round tub and this is in the shade number two and I really like their little sample pots so I haven't tried this yet um, but it's just like a setting powder I know Brianna Brianna Stanko or I think that's what her, her, you pronounce her surname I'll link her below she loves that powder um, and then I got a sample of this thing and this is supposedly new um, in a new collection I don't know what it's called but it comes with a Touche clap in this kind of color and a powder in this kind of color so it is a really liquidy uh, let's see if I can so you can see it's a really pretty liquidy um, rose gold pink liquid and this can be used as a blush um, it can be used mixed in with the foundation or it could be used like as a highlighting product and I know it comes in a packaging like the YSL Touche Clap pump foundation bottle so um, it's so pretty I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's a really pretty um, illuminating kind of liquid. So, put some on, maybe you can see it. So, if you're fair, I think this would look nice on top of any pink blush, or you can see it there. It's really pretty. Okay, so that was all that I got from YSL. I love the look that I. Um, those products created so I'm gonna move on to um, a by a two uh, three by Terry products that I got so let's go with a by Terry blush and these are the new release formula Densilis blushes okay so this is in the shade number three beach bomb I had a few of her blushes in the past and I didn't really like the consistency they were very hard no pigmentation even with a brush they just weren't very nice so um, I heard these ones were much better so they now come in a velvet pouch instead of the satin drawstring uh, the same kind of hefty silver pen and look how gorgeous this shade is called beach bomb it is beautiful this would look so nice with a really nice golden um, bronze tan it's pretty so it's a beautiful bright reddish coral and it picks up a lot of color and it's smooth it reminds me the texture of this actually reminds me of Clinique cheek pop blushes so it's matte but it's a very smooth non chalky kind of matte shade so beautiful blushes she did well with those um, that formula. I got a powder. I asked a few of you on Instagram what your favorite setting powders were. Um, I got Le Mer was a good um, one that people recommended Make It Forever, Laura Mercier and MAC. I ended up getting by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder because I just wanted a translucent setting powder that fills in lines, pores and controls oils. So this is what this one is supposed to do this one's got silica it's got talc in it it's really really a nice um, translucent powder I ended up getting a new brush to dust my new translucent powders over and I got a Bobbi Brown brush and this one's in the shade <laughs> this one is not a shade this one is the sheer powder brush um, and I thought it would be nice just to like because it's not dense at all it's quite a loose powder brush I thought it'd be nice just to put the product really loosely and lightly just to set my makeup so basically not really putting much on it all 
um, so that actually did quite a nice job so I, so far I love this powder um, but I don't know an oil control yet I haven't tried it out enough to know just how far that one will go okay so I've been dying to try her hyaluronic sheer rouge lipsticks I got the shade number four princess in rose beautiful absolutely beautiful I love the texture this is more her uh, kind of like Dior Addict um, lipstick style so there's the packaging it's a beautiful glossy baby pink I've got a little bit of color underneath or on top I should say because what I did was with my lip combo tonight I used um, there's a swatch of it there so you can see it's really pretty and glossy my lip combo I used a product that a new product that I'm going to show from Maybelline and then I put a little bit of this on top but this is so nourishing it's very moisturizing it still have got the hyaluronic acid in it so really pretty and I love these I also um, did get three Maybelline products Priceline now has new releases L'Oreal I posted it on Instagram if you want to go over and see um, but L'Oreal's got some new release lipsticks and nail polishes um, Maybelline's got their whole new line out so I got three lip products and these are awesome you guys need to get these they're um, $9.95 each but at the moment they have two for three so I got these for $19.95 I got three colors I got fuchsia desire which is this one here um, and they're matte they stay on beautiful I only got them today but I'm wearing this one underneath no sorry I'm wearing this one underneath um, you know as a base and it is a shade called I think this one's new perfection they only have the names on the sticker and I've probably moved the lids around this is gorgeous so I've lined my lips with the makeup forever 2c lip liner I've applied this on and then I've put a little bit of that um, by Terry lip stick over the top and this one is called minimalist and it's like more of a pink these are so pretty um, worth every penny these I will not be palming off to anyone like I do most of my drugstore products that I don't like which is pretty much most of them just wanted to show you the makeup forever 2c lip liner um, this is what I'm wearing to line my lip so it's very very similar to the Maybelline but um, let me show you so Maybelline's just a tiny bit lighter so but love that lip combo the pink just adds it's very sheer so it adds a little bit of um, pink and just looks pretty okay guys so I hope you enjoyed that